Hey, 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 Wibber Snappers, how's it going? <clears throat> you guys hear me all right? Awesome. Very good. All righty, well, we're going to just jump right into it. Um, so this game, well, it's, a, it's a demo of a game. It's a just came out like a half hour ago. Uh, just dropped on Twitter, uh, and basically it's the demo of a Pokemon fan game that they've been working on. I think, I think in their documentation it says they've been working on it for like nine plus years, uh, and I've been following it for a couple of years now uh, on Twitter. Uh, and it's all the screenshots and everything. It looks like it's a really well-made game, kind of like Ethereal Gates, which I played. Uh, well, it was a patron exclusive series ages ago, and then I put it public uh, at some point a year or two ago uh, when I had a big break in actual content I was creating and so I put that out just to kind of fill space uh, but that's a that was a really well-made Pokemon fan game and this one looks to be right along that line um, and so I've been following it for a really long time when I saw that they were finally dropping the uh, the demo I was really excited to get into it and play it how's the um, game sounds does the game sounds is it a good level is it too quiet can you hear it it's got a nice soundtrack here on the title card at least so I want to make sure you guys can hear it and it's not over overpowering me or anything like that. Sounds good? Fantastic. All right. Well, let's jump right into it then. Uh, let me see. I think um, I'm going to... Oop, I got I to gotta click into the game. Start there. Uh, all right. And we're going to play. Uh, ooh, ooh, we get multiple save files, so that's exciting. There's a Nuzlocke mode. Uh, I don't think we want to try that today, but maybe at some point when the game comes out in wider release. Because uh, this is, as I, uh, I should, as it says up here, and uh, as I think I said, the dem this is a demo. This is like what they call the first episode, uh, and it's in beta. There may be bugs. There may be, um, uh, during the swell of that bit, it got near to your voice volume, but it's pretty good. Okay, if it gets to be too much, just let me know, and I'll, I'll tweak it down a bit. Um, but, uh, so this is a demo. Uh, they consider it a beta um, it's just the first episode, so it's kind of like with Ethereal Gates, um, where it really, like, I don't, I actually don't know how long this goes. This may be an hour, hour, uh, little spotlight, this may be, you may take it, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. I know, like, when we played Ethereal Gates, um, their demo, uh, for that patron series, it was, like, up to the second gym, or something like that. I don't know, I don't know if this will give you, but it, basically, it's a limited section of the game, uh, and so, there may be bugs and things like that. I just want to make sure I let that out there, because it does look like it's a well-made game, and I'd hate for people to get turned off from the game, uh, because there's issues thinking that it's the full release when it is not. Uh, so yeah, we are gonna jump right into this. Um, alright, we're gonna do new game. Uh, when the game goes full release, we may, uh, game you're about to play is fan-made Pokemon creation. It's created a group of part-time volunteer non-professional game developers, and the game is free, always will be, except no money. Uh, we just love Pokemon creating experiences. They've actually done a, a <laughs> gone out of their way to distance themselves a bit from Pokemon. Like, even the game is called Phoenix Rising. Pokemon is nowhere in the title of the game, uh, nowhere in their branding on Twitter. Well, their, their handle is actually PKM, PR, or whatever, but, um, after, like, games like Pokemon Uranium and stuff got shut down, uh, these guys wised up and like, Alright, we're not gonna use the Pokemon name at all! And, uh, hoping that Nintendo will just leave them alone. Uh, but we're gonna press any key. And, um... Hello, hello. Good morning! I have some last-minute documents I need you to complete for... Trinita University! I'm still used... I'm still used as a mouthpiece for the school when I completed my studies there all those years ago. First, they need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. Who's their customization? Okay, uh... Are you sure you'd like to play as this character? Yeah. Great, that should do fine. Next, I need you to imprint your... Okay, uh, it made it sound like there might be customization. I can't remember. They may be planning that, now that I'm thinking about it. Um... But, uh, again, it's in beta, so obviously not going to be, uh all features here necessarily. I do think that is actually something that they're thinking about uh, adding, but I, I remember now maybe a tweet saying that no, it would not be included in this first one. Alright, let's confirm. We'll go with Tort. Thank you for indulging me, Tort! I bet you're looking forward to your adventure! Be sure to stop by my lab before you skip down! I have something you'll want to see! Ciao! Alright, so a lot of these fan games, like I think Ethereal Gates is like pure fake mon. I don't know if there's any real Pokemon in, in Ethereal Gates. Um, this one, it does seem like there's there's mostly real Pokemon, um, but there are some, like, Alolan form kind of things. I think they're called Relic Pokemon. Uh, so we will see some, you can even see kind of um, down here, 
you can see kind of an, an odd looking apom. It's what's called a relic ape or ambipom. Uh, and so there, there's going to be some of those scattered throughout the game. I don't know if there's going to be any of that included in the demo here, but there will be some Alolan form type variants on Pokemon. Uh, so I'm really loving just the look of the game that they've got going here so far. I do know, uh, yeah, following Pokemon com is coming back. I saw that in one of the screenshots in the um, PR, uh, you know, graphics bundle they, they put out for content creators. Uh, so that'll be exciting. That's, that's one of those features that I can't believe is, has not come back in like four generations of Pokemon. We still don't have following Pokemon again. Um, Hawthorne Woods. Have I ever told you why I live in Hawthorne Woods, Torp? Most assume I think that I long for a natural setting to be one with a nature. Certainly the Pokemon here are kind, and the floor is magnificent, yes? It does seem like a very nice place to live, actually. I like the, uh, I like the terrain. Um, even I admit my cooking has greatly improved since I came to my, I, beca I began my hermitage. I'd like to begin a hermitage, just go off into the woods and... <laughs> uh, Sun Moon would have been infinitely better if they had added the Pokemon following you in the old world. Yeah, right? Every, every, every Pokemon game would have been infinitely better if they'd added that. Um, and actually... Just not to get off on a side tangent, but they've hacked people when they when they hacked into the ROM, the games. They found they have like animated walking 3D models of every Pokemon. So like they clearly were probably planning to do that, and then like the 3DS could barely handle Pokemon Sun and Moon anyway. So my guess is they intended to do that. They went through the trouble of animating walking animations for like 800 Pokemon, and then they realized oh the system can't actually handle. Even the game we've built already, adding that in probably would have made it completely unplayable. Uh, so my hope is that uh, Nintendo on the or Pokemon on the Switch, uh, they're gonna make use of that those models they created and put it in there uh, because it should have the power to run anything they want to do. So uh, side tangent, but yes, hopefully hopefully that'll be coming back soon. Even I admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my hermitage, uh, but I would not live far away from society for pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it pure. Out here, I am able to reflect on my life, to think more clearly than I ever have. When I was your age, finding a thinking place was very simple, a quiet place. That's not, true, so, not so true anymore, yes? Now the world is very complicated. This is, a good, this is good to keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there. Allow yourself to the time to think on your life and your circumstances. For you see, Tor, it is when one thinks that one realizes not all is right with the world. Okay, this guy is going to be the evil, evil team leader. I can tell you already. He's going to try and make the world pure, get rid of all civilization or whatever, make it a quiet place. Oh, I can, I can tell you already. Not as all, and not all is right with the world. I was feeling it before he even said that. that that's coming. Just be, be ready for that. Oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. Ah, oh, Gramps. Giving us old timers a bad name. I can actually go for some tea, though. That sounds good. New quest! Ooh, quests! Awesome. A lesson something. Uh, press X to open up your menu. You can access your journal containing your current quest there. Alright. Destiny. Oh, okay. Alright, so actual X. That's fantastic. So we got save. Uh, journal. Let's take a look at that. Um, Okay, we got our main quest, a lesson in destiny. But today's the day, there, but there are a few errands to run before heading to Trinita University. Meet the soothsayer for tea. Incomplete. All right. So that's awesome. A little questing system. I'll take it. All right. Let's get, get these berries going here. The music seems louder in my ear now. Is it? Is it still okay for you guys? Let me know how that is. All right, um, let's go find the old timer. Press Z to use your running shoot. Okay, uh, you can toggle them permanently on and off using the shift key. Fantastic. Let's just do that. Uh, there we go. Constantly running because why not? Uh, come, come! I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. Yeah, our kindly old soothsayer guy here is gonna be gonna be evil. Calling it out.
The lesson in destiny of Jessica complete. Meet the soothsayer of tea. I like that. I like that. Uh, Tora, I'm glad you decided to come over one last time. It warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day. Off to Trinity University, and you're receiving your first Pokemon, yes? Good to so, but then again, I'm the one who's hearing appearance. I'm always... <laughs> well, Jay might weigh in here and make it, if he's still around. Uh, receiving your first Pokemon. I'll turn on the kettle door. If, are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure that the good doctor will give you the best of the lot. You know, Professor Lotus met with me before her own journey to your school. Trinita University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawthorne region. The both of you, the prides of our little Nocturne Town. Okay, so Hawthorne region, we start in Nocturne Town. Good to know. Although it's a different situation, what with your follower and all. Alright, so our dad's a famous Pokemon guy, probably. Maybe he's the champion. Where is it? Maybe that was supposed to be a whisper. I'm sure you're excited to see him after so many years apart. And your mother is doing well? Sad to see you go? How perplexing. Hey, Wonder Jay, welcome, welcome. She's always been a hearty, your mother, never phased by a thing. But to have her only child go about to pop from her must, home must be trying. I'm doing well. Why, well, when your own children took their leave from me, I... I have some bad news told. I think perhaps there's a possibility I am out of tea. Oh, man! Oh, I'm embarrassed. I, I go and doubt it. I don't even check my own stalls. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although if we've not seen him in years, she probably doesn't keep it in stock anymore. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. Uh, you're over there. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, listen, Disney. New objective. Collect tea bags from Mom. Alright, so forcing us to go find our mother... Uh, visit the lab. Alright, so we gotta get tea and visit the lab. Alright, anything of interest up here? Nope, just quiet living space. Alright. Okay. So, do we live in this here swamp? Although he said he kind of went to, wanted to get away from civilization. Alright, this doesn't seem the right way. Uh, let's check out the bulletin board. Trainer tips! Nope, don't want trainer tips. Nope, nope, nope. Zzz, zzz. Alright. Uh, back up this way. In fact, let me, uh, well, we're... I'm gonna turn up the music just slightly. This talent said it was a little soft. Alright, uh, let's go up here. Aw, cute little need rands. Oh no! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, little dude! Although, color-wise, that looked... Almost looked like a regular Nidoran female and a shiny Nidoran. It didn't look like purple enough for a male Nidoran. Um. Oop. Hey there! Do you know you can hop over these legs? Okay, yeah, no, I'm trying to. I would have done so if you had just left me alone. Uh. Okay. No. I like the little uh, sunbeams coming off the. Uh, the. There. Off the, the corner there. It's a nice. Uh, it's just a nice effect. Um. Yeah, it looked, they looked like shinies. There we go. Here we are. Nocturne Town. All right, so Soothsayer lives in the village. I'm guessing we got a mailbox. It's probably us. Let's check this out. Hey there, Tort. Are you looking for Professor Lotus? I haven't seen her since this morning. Have you checked her lab? If not there, she probably called away. Why don't you ask Tim where she is? The Soothsayer might know, too. Okay, I'm guessing this isn't home, but let's uh, just do our due diligence. Make sure there's no items lying around we can steal. Alright. Uh, there's Grandma there. Let's check out this house. Uh, I used to live in Salt Tempo T City, which is a really exciting place to live. After a while, though, I couldn't take the urban life anymore, so I came here. There are a lot of old people here. It's quiet, really quiet. Nice. I like the, I like those the city with the river running through it and everything like that. It's just nice looking. All right, uh, clearly we gotta go up here, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, mom, where you at? Nope, this is an old lady. My husband often walks around town. I suppose it could be relaxing, but nothing has ever changed here. 
that's what relaxing means. All right. Uh, oh, there's a sign. Let's check. Is this the is this the lab? Mr. Lotus's lab. Let's check here. Although they hinted that she might not be here. Oh no, there she is. Uh, they did say we needed to. One of our objectives is to come to the lab. Tord. Tord. Oh, uh, hi. You're here early. Professor Lotus said you would be here later than. Oh. Uh. Okay. So this is not the. Uh. You remember me, right? I'm. Oh wait. I'm Tim. We met like twice. No, it's no big deal. Uh. Welcome. You're here for your first Pokemon, right? That's so exciting. We've been getting them ready forever. Did you were away for Professor Lotus. She said you wanted to be here for this, but I haven't heard from her since. Uh. Some kind of errand took her out to Tranquilo Town earlier today. Field work has never been my scene, so Lotus left me here to babysit. It's so funny that Lotus does that stuff all the time. She's a hero of sort. Well, I, I thought it was I thought it was Professor Lotus, who we had seen at the very beginning. She's got a kind of a short brown haircut. I assumed it was I assumed this was her Overworld sprite, uh, but we actually know we're in person. You know, we get to see real her. Yeah, um, I'm stalling. Really, I just don't know what she's getting back. You're not that early. Maybe she's the late one. As if. All right, bro. I'll just go get some tea bags or something while we wait. I bet you're dying to see them, huh? The Pokemon. They're super cute. Well, maybe I can let you have a look at them. Before she gets here, sneak peek. It would be okay, right? I'm not, not usurping protocol. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go take a look. Yeah, let's do it. So this is Petillo, the bald Pokemon. Oh, this is cute. They've got little like enclosures for them. Uh, they're female-only species, and they love soil. That's rich in nutrients. If you eat their leaves, you'll get a little energy. Why would I eat a Pokemon? Uh, of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. All right, so we've got the choice between Patillil, uh, Growlithe, and Staryu, it looks like. This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love that hair, that shaggy mane? They're a fire type. Growlithe are domesticated Pokemon, and they're really, they really get attached to you. Apparently, they can smell your emotions. Weird, huh? Super doses. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and, and pick the starter. So... Uh, it looks like Patillil, uh, Growlithe, and Staryu. So up to you guys. This is Staryu, my personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love water types. They're the star-shaped Pokemon because they're superstars. Plus, they're able to physically regrow their limbs, which is, like, insane. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Now you really want one, huh? Look, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor was going to give you one eventually, right? I can tell her later. Oh, and I know how exciting this is to own your first Pokemon. I'll be waiting at the front of the lab, so just let me know when you've decided. Good luck, no pressure. All right, so Tim's just like, looking to get fired, apparently. <laughs> uh, soft reset with F12. Sometimes you might want to reset the game and reload your save file. Remember to save first or you'll lose. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Should we just soft reset until we get a shiny starter or something? No, but um, seriously, what, 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 which one do you guys think we should take? Oh! Okay, so we've got Staryu. Yeah, they all require... I was thinking that too. I'm like, well, Staryu could be annoying, but I'm like, wait, no. Growlithe requires a stone and Matilda requires a stone. Uh, would you like the fire type Growlithe? Nope. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm letting you guys decide. I'm just looking at him. I didn't realize we could go into the enclosure, so I'm just doing what I can. And Patillo. So, uh, yeah. We used all these Pokemon to pretty decent effect at one time or another. Uh, we had a Patillo named Petal in uh, the first Little Lock, actually, through Pokemon Omicron. Uh, she was pretty good. Uh, we've used a Growlithe on a number of occasions. We had Hob, Hobbs in um, Season season 2? Of the Hexathlock? No, season one. We had Hobbs in season one, and then was transferred into season two, or season three. Um, one of the we had a, we had an Arcanine, uh, and then uh, Staryu. I've not used a lot in story mode playthroughs, but um, uh, I, I I had a, a Staryu on my uh, my little league team actually for the the little cup draft league that I'd been doing, uh, who had been doing good work too. So I'm pretty pretty neutral. Hey, Kays, how's it going, buddy? Uh, you gotta help us decide. We're picking our starter. Uh, we, we can choose either Staryu, Growlithe, or Patillil. So I need you guys to, to pick one. Staryu, Growlithe, or Patillil. They're all two-stage Pokemon, and they all require a stone to evolve. Uh, Patillil? 
Here, uh, I'll go get you a better look at it. It's a it's a grass type, obviously. Fire, water, grass. Growlithe, Staryu, or Patillo. It's a Patillo's from um, Gen Five. Okay, both of you guys are thinking grass. We'll do that. I've not used Patillo. Well, I was just gonna say I've not used one in a story mode game before, but I was just saying that I'd used one in a, in a little lock before. Uh, but I've not used one like on my actual. DS, because uh, I never had the version that actually included Patillo. It was a version exclusive. I didn't want to give a nickname to Patillo. Yeah. Um, I think you said it was a, a, a female only, um, female only species. Do you guys have a nickname for me? Kays, give me some, uh, give me a an herb or something that I can name her. A little pet. No, give me, give me like some, give me like an herb or something. Some cooking. Do, 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 do. Rosemary. All right, perfect. Do Rosemary because she does have flowers when she evolves. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. All right, so that'll work out well. Rosemary. Might even just be able to type this. I guess. Well, no, probably not because we've got some of the keys mapped. All right, Rosemary. Perfect. Confirm. Try to obtain Patillo. All right, and they do follow around again, which is fantastic. Uh, toggle Pokemon following you by pressing Control. If you ever wish to put Pokemon back in its bubble, take it out again. Just press Control. Why would anyone ever want to do that? Okay, this is so beautiful. Look, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're gonna love Trinita University, my alma mater, especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. And now we wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trips. She still has some things to give you, advice or gadgets or something. I don't think I can let you go exactly without having to see her first. Did I just gotta go get tea bags for my mom? Life like a lotus. Yes, K's. What you got? Uh, fresh made tagatelle carbonara with crispy chicken thighs. I hate you so much. Put a picture in your Discord. I want to see it. Oh, this is a good lesson. So Tranquilla Town is just easy here. You 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 would take Route One to get there. It connects to Tranquilla to Nocturne. Route One is short, and Tranquilla Town is really tiny, smaller than Nocturne. So Professor Holmes won't be long. We just have to wait. Uh, she oh, he's gone. What's wrong with you, man? You gotta take pictures of that stuff. You can't just like torture me with like words. You have to torture me with pictures. Um, because is he legit not gonna let me leave? I mean, am I legit just supposed to? Am I legit just supposed to sit here? Or like, why would it give me? Uh, really awkward. You can go. No hard feelings. I'll explain to Lotus. I'll see you later though. And this was really great. Yeah, yeah. Have fun. Uh, objective complete. Visit the lab. Alright, that's what we're supposed to be doing. As really isn't just thrown into a ball. Man! Alright. Oh, hey! Rosemary seems to want to play with Tort. Fantastic! Let's go battle some Pokemon, Rosemary. Let's do it. Ooh, it's night out. I love when they do this in Pokemon games. They do this in it's some of the more modern daycare, center, daycare centers and stuff, too. Where you just, like, see Pokemon in kind of a natural habitat hanging out back there. What I would love is for Gen 8 to not only have Pokemon following behind you, um, but also have, like, Pokemon visible in the overworld. That will never happen. Uh, but kind of like Pixelmon uh, and stuff. I would love to just be, like, walk around and be like, oh, hey, there's a Wooper. I want to catch that Wooper. Uh, like you can in Pixelmon and stuff. And there's a Vulpix up there and stuff. Uh, alrighty. Uh, we still have to find our house. Uh, this looks like maybe it's us. We've got a mailbox, at least. Usually the house has a sign or a mailbox or something. Oh, Torch, you're home early. Have you finished already? Probably the here can talk me to the ground, the sweet old man. Okay. He doesn't have tea. He didn't check before he invited it over for tea? Well, regardless, he needs tea bags, but I'm not sure we have any ourselves. Oh, come on, Mom. Come on. Oh, I really need to be more responsible living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time that something has happened like this. Perhaps he could grow his own tea surrounded by all that forest. Not that I don't sympathize with his choice. It's beautiful in those woods. I mean, I guess we, we can eat patillo's leaves, right? And it gives us a thing we could make some patillo tea. Oh, look at that! Tea bags! Not much, but it should be fine for your purposes. I, you know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all this tea with him. Maybe not so crazy if you remember he did cart away that broken radio. You think he still has it? Neither of us has ever seen his place there. So, did, like, Dad abandon us? Or what's going on? <clears throat> and she doesn't notice the new bone. I mean, yeah, I've got this adorable little patillo, and she's just like, ah! Um... Uh, there's rumors that Switch game is a revamp Pokemon Yellow in 3D. 
Yeah, uh, so I haven't heard the Pokemon running around thing, but I have heard um, talk in the ether recently that uh, it's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or something are the two uh, things. Um, someone had said because it might have some integration, that looked like a snow runt teabag, uh, it might have some integration with like Pokemon Go, uh, although I think maybe that's been quashed. But yeah, there, there's some slightly more credible than usual rumors going around uh, that this first game coming out is going to be remakes of uh, Pokemon Yellow. Um, but uh, but you would get the choice of starter, like it, you're not just necessarily stuck with Pikachu. Um, of, but of course, obviously, we don't really know any actual information. New objective, bring the tea bags to the zoo there. Alright, let's do that. Um, but uh, it actually sounds like it would be kind of a remake of Yellow. The things that I have heard is that it's actually going to be based in Kanto, but in the future, and like the region might actually have been shaken up, like kind of like how in Gold and Silver, like Cinnabar had been, the volcano had gone off and the region had been kind of devastated and things like that. It would be kind of similar to that, that like the region would be kind of revamped uh, based on some cataclysm or something, uh, but it would still be basically Kanto and, and stuff like that. I don't know, it sounded interesting. Um, if they want to do a game in Kanto, but like really shake things up, I would still be kind of interested in that. Um, I do eventually want like a real Gen 8, but um, what I've heard so far, if it proves true, is, is kind of interesting to me. Oh, Torch, you won't return, I'm glad. Did you hear very much of that when you entered the room? Uh, I know you witnessed me experience the visions before you. Was he having a vision? I don't recall witnessing any of that when we walked into the room. Uh, the premonition which passed was very powerful. I feel sapped of energy. Hey, Azo, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I feel sapped of energy. Glimpses of death, darkness, rabbit flames engulfing Nocturne Town. Such an ill omen vision is rare, but one cannot succumb to hysteria. To fixate on the end of the world, it would make it impossible to fully live one's life. Let us drink. Tea is fine remedy for such stresses. To you, Tort, in your future travels, may you find success everlasting. I'm really interested to see what kind of Pokemon we can find. Uh... Uh, find here in the surrounding regions. It was very nice, Tor. Thank you. I feel completely refreshed. Be sure to thank your mother for me again. It was good tea, yes? Now a final piece of advice. Should you ever question your path, please return here. I shall put you on a kettle and perhaps a vision will grace me. But surely together we can help you ascertain your next step. Keep up your studies, train your Pokemon well, and I am sure I shall see you again. Alright, lesson in destiny. Objective complete. Bring the tooth bag. Uh, bring the tea bags. And complete! Alright, I, I like this questing thing. This, uh, maybe we should put something extra in there. Yeah, give us some, give us some visions. All right, our dad was into some stuff. Um, all right, let's go ahead and save real quick. We got our one little patilla. All right, um, now, uh, I want to go back to that journal. Life like a lotus. All right, uh, lotus seems to be out of town, but wants to meet on you on your way. Meet Professor Lotus in Tranquilo Town. All right, perfect, let's do that. Come on, Rosemary, we're gonna do it. All right, Azo, so you're doing good, glad to hear it. We are uh, just kind of at the very beginning here. I've uh, done a little bit of stuff, but just kind of at the beginning of testing out this new Pokemon fan game. So far, it looks beautiful. It's one of the nicest looking uh, Pokemon fan games I've seen. Um, just, I mean, just look at the attention to detail and stuff. It's, it's nicer than any real Pokemon game, that's for sure. That might be harsh, but, um, it's nice. It's nice. I like it. Ethereal Gates also, they, they also stepped up kind of the detail and stuff like that. Just like the little, you know, uh, lily pads and stuff and I don't know. I think it's pretty. All right. Uh, we're on a route at night with our new Patillo and Hoot Hoots pops out. I'm not going to catch anything right off the bat. Um, all right. So let's fight. We do have Tackle. That's good. Oh, it knows Leafage. All right. I wonder what move pool this is. I think Leafage was new in Sumo, so uh, probably we're looking at Gen 7 mechanics in this. I didn't even think about that. Looks like they actually took their time to make it great. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks good. All right, uh, let's grab these orange berries. Oh, no, I didn't want to plant something. No, 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 no. It's, uh, no! Ooh, cutie fly. I am actually going to... Oh, I don't have any Pokeballs, do I? I don't think so. Hold on. Now I'm thinking about it. Um, and yeah, we don't have any Pokemon. Darn it. Okay, well, we'll have to come back and get a cutie fly. I would probably actually really like a cutie fly on my team. Let's, uh, let's 
Absorbing's not going to do too much for us. A little bit of experience would be fantastic, though. I really like the clean... Um, oh, and I love that. They, there's a little, like, Orenberry thing there. Can we just, like, use that any time during the course of battle? That's interesting. That little Y thing there. But yeah, they, they really... I mean, I guess they, say, they said they've been working on it for, like, nine years. My guess is that a lot of that time has been spent revamping it to the most recent generation's mechanics. Because, like, obviously, in the course of nine years, you've, you know, gone through half of, uh, half of the Pokemon generations at this point. So they've probably been working on the concept and then, uh, uh getting a little bit, uh, more into it. Uh, also looks like it would be nicer to build in Minecraft, much nicer than most of Game Freak stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Talon, you, you, uh, have had a special experience, ooh, let me see, nice, special experience of, uh, digging into more detail with the, uh, with the games. Your Pokemon aren't hurt, are they? You can heal them at a Pokemon Center. It's the building with the orange rope in Trivial Town. Nice. I probably should have just gone down the stairs. Centrite, nice. I think if it looks like I could be wrong, uh, but it looks like they maybe have like they've made their own sprites for everything. Um, they, these look. They, I don't know. They look nice. It seems like they're they're custom. I've not seen most of these sprites before. Not that they're like totally unique necessarily, but. I definitely don't think I've seen that Centret sprite before. Uh, is this Tranquilla Town? Yes, it is! Oh, I love the little icon in the corner there, too. That's fantastic. Gosh, a lot, lot, of, uh, lot of attention to detail. Ooh, Nurse Joy's got green hair. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We're going to try your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yep, let's do that. Let's get uh, the last healed up here. Uh, and then we will uh, see if we can't find ourselves a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokeball over here. Actually, this town reminds me a lot of, uh, of Ethereal Gates. We've got a similar kind of farm style in, uh, in the starting town, I feel like. Okay, there we go. We got a Pokeball. Fantastic. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's wander around outside real quick. Oh, here we go. This looks like plot. So how do these crazy stones work? I am very glad you asked that, kind sir. My evolutionary gems work by magic. Magic? I don't believe in magic. It's magic of evolution, my friend. Give one of my gems to your Pokemon. Watch it evolve before your very eyes. Instantly, your Pokemon will be stronger, faster, with more attacks. Can they evolve any Pokemon, mister? Any and every. Uh, cops. <laughs> ruh row. Citizens of Tranquil Town, this man is a fraud. His wares are counterfeit. <gasps> what? A fraud, but he sold us all this stuff. None of it's real. I mean, why is he still doing a sale pitch if you all have already bought stuff? Um, I only play Pokemon Red. It looks a whole lot better than Red. Yeah. <laughs> it would look better than Red, absolutely. Uh, for a second, I read Repel without the L. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be bad. Uh, now let's not rush to conclusions. I am but a humble salesman, a, sale, a small business owner, to think that I would rob you sweet, kind people. Who took me in? Who invited me into your homes? Why, what manner of monster would reward such gener or graciousness with deceit? Not I, certainly. I speak no lies ever. Who is this woman, huh? Maybe she is the fraud. On what authority does she claim that I'm a fake? This is Professor Lotus. She studied at Trinita University. Wow, a Pokemon professor? She's got to know what she's talking about. Yeah, where did this guy even come from? I thought you knew, you don't. No, I thought you were the one who knew him. Who is he? All of us. All I know is that he sold us all this junk. Yeah, you guys are dumb. This is junk that you sold us. Yeah, it looks like junk. I want my money back. Yeah, we all deserve a refund. A refund? You want me to give you money? Whoa, there he goes. Just got dusted by Thanos. Where'd he go? He disappeared. There's no trace of him or our money. Suckers. All right, we'll talk to Professor Lotus here. Hello, Tord, I noticed you in the crowd watching. Stunning events, really. Such a simple situation, but a dramatic turn. Now, did you come all this way to search me out in Tranquilitown? That's very brave. I apologize for the delays experienced here. The conflict at hand escalated in unexpected ways. Although this means that Tim was happy to handle, uh, although it seems that Tim was happy to handle this issue himself. I have to lecture him in, I have a lecture in mind about protocol for when I see him next. Words, I can read. Uh, you chose Patilla then. Discerning! I thought it was disconcerting or something. I was like, what? Discerning! She will learn effective status attacks! Moreover, her evolution is known for very strong special attack statistics. Toward this is Farmer Terror. He's the owner of Trad Farm! 
His milk tank crew produces most of the Moo Moo milk for the region. Hi there, sorry we had to meet under those trying circumstances. As you, wit uh, as you witness, the people of Drink Cooler Town have been tricked. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That man wandered into town about three days ago. We were all planning for a festival and we ain't no noticing much going on. But he seemed all right, kind of courteous, kept to himself. He told us about these here stones they'd be selling, magic stones. Most specifically, the stones used for the purpose of Pokemon evolution. Terrence and I have been colleagues for many years with this farm. He was therefore familiar with my work regarding the artifacts and mythology. The festival arrived and our man's magic stones, well, sold, obviously. Uh, Terrence was suspicious of the man, quick turn around and called me. And you saw the results of the confrontation we had planned. Whew. Uh, perhaps if we have not been so cavalier about this. Professor Lotus, you'll find him. I have the utmost faith in you. You're the most talented doctor I ever met, Professor Lotus. I'm not sure what that has to do with her finding somebody, but sure. You stopped that varmint from stealing everybody else's wages. I don't know where it'd be if you hadn't come to rescue us. Ooh, he's got a crush. Dork, we need to talk before you depart from training time. This is important, but I need to help you search for... I need to help search for the swindler. While we search, I would recommend training your Pokemon at Dread Farm. Trainers in my farm are always raring for a Pokemon battle. I might, it, it might be good for you, Toy. I'll find you as soon as I can. All right. Uh, you missed Tim Instamature from Squeaky Little Boy Voice to Manly Voice. <laughs> well, I thought it was Professor What's-Her-Face. Uh, Lotus when we first... Like Lotus, object complete. Meet Professor Lotus. Uh, quest complete. Life like a Lotus. All right, so that's all done. My guess is we help, we help her... Uh, New quest. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, my guess is we have to find the Swindler. Um, Alright, we're going to go into the Pokemon Center, even though it's kind of dark out, I'm assuming we can buy some Pokeballs. Uh, before we go into, like, a training situation, I want to pick up some Pokeball. We're currently setting up a clothing store. Oh, I don't care about that. It's probably for the customization stuff that there wasn't at the very beginning. Uh, Alright, so you have Pokeballs, maybe? Alright, perfect. Um, yep. We got 8,000 bucks. Nice. Uh, let's buy... Oh, yeah, we're, we're maxing out our money. Let's buy five. That'll be good. Uh, and then we'll buy a couple of potions. Buy five of those. Okay, antidote. Uh, we really don't need more than a couple of antidotes on hand, just to be safe. Um, travel pack. Everything a traveler should need on their long journeys with the Hawthorne comes to a little travel pack used for fast travel. Interesting. Uh, fast travel trip. Interesting. We'll, we'll leave that for now, uh, but that's good to know. All right. Let us head back into the forest. Um, I would not mind a cutie fly, if I'm being honest. Um, so let's pop back in here, see if we can't find another cutie fly. Uh, and then maybe we'll go uh, go to Trad Farm and... Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Right off the bat. Um, okay, so let's... This should be pretty well resisted here. So hopefully it lives. It lives well enough. If it heals up... How much are you going to heal from that? We should be able to get another leap of jaw. Boom, baby. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go with Pokeball then. Let's try just pressing B. Let's see what these key items do. Boop. Boop. Oh, so close. Oh, ram it. Uh, I think Illumisi and Volbeat should have gotten the fairy treatment. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's probably a handful of Pokemon that really should have should have gotten it. I feel like... Um, we caught an Illumizi in, um, with a Little Lock, um, and I, I feel like in its Pokedex entry it even calls it, like, the Fairy Pokemon or something. Um, so yeah, it probably should have. But, uh, would you like to give a nickname to Cutie Fly? Yeah! What should we name this Cutie Fly? We got a little level 5 male Cutie Fly. What are you guys thinking? name my Rimbom B cutie fly in um, my sumo blind run mind you of a mosquito fruit fly you guys are just naming bugs <laughs> looking for like names actual What was the name 
of my Rimbone Bee from the Pokemon Sun Blind Run. with you. party's empty it gave me the option to transfer to the PC which is weird but that's okay uh, let's grab our little bug here Ooh, honey gather gentle nature uh, which I don't know what that does oh actually we should look at the uh, we should I don't think we've even looked at our uh, starter now let's look at our summary uh, oops Mild nature, which I think is a specially defensive nature. Oh, it tells me right there. Uh, plus special attack, minus defense. Okay, that's pretty good considering. I think the I think the uh, evolution of this thing is a big special attacker. So I'll take it. Um, is this is this IVs? Looks like it might be IVs. All right, we got good HP. Interesting. Let's move that up. work and this has got a plus speed minus defense nature all right I'll take it um okay oh, actually no uh, I do want to switch cutie fly up front oh look how cute it is look at I, I, every, every it's, it's like ugh, any of the games that they've had would have been at least 30% better just by having Pokemon falling behind you. Like, it's just so cute! Uh, Alright, um, Trad Farm we were supposed to go to. Um, I guess is this is Trad Farm, maybe? No, oh, this looks like somebody's house. When I'm big, I'm gonna be a trainer just like my big brother. My dad runs Pokemon too, but he's boring. Uh, everybody wants to be proud of the family members. My grandson is purposefully, uh, supposedly a powerful trainer inspiring everybody he meets. As his grandmother, I, I, I simply remember him as this sprightly young child who would help me tend crops and ask the most adorable question. Okay. My, oh, yeah, she gave me something. I was like, this is a long dialogue option. Uh, all right. Uh, we need to find the actual, actual farm. Maybe it's uh, further up here. Trad farm. Yes. Head that way. Uh, all right, head on through. Uh, press the Z key to speed up battles. You find yourself waiting to sp wanting to speed up battle. Press the Z key to speed up. Okay, awesome. Good to know. Uh, new tutorial has been registered. When two trainers like eyes, we must battle. All right, let's see what the Z key does for us here. Nice, liking the art. Alright, let's see, it's a level 3 centret. Um, let's go ahead and switch. Get, uh, get Superfly some experience here. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, we could just stand up against so we'll give that a shot. And we probably, I need to give, I need to give Rosemary, um, need to give, a uh, change profile, yes. And we'll get Superfly back in here. Um, I need to give Rosemary a, uh, Ooh, this is not a great matchup. Uh, I need to give Rosemary an Orenberry is what I need to do, just to, like, hold it. Um, so she can heal herself if it comes to that. Uh, tackle. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and use the, use the potion there. Um, alright, let's see. Tackle's probably gonna be our best bet. Alright, looks good. Come on! Ooh, critical hit! There we go, Queen of Crits! Rosemary, doing work. Good level 7. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, um, uh, super flying gaming. Dang, gotta catch more Pokemon! Kid, you're too young to be swearing, you little punk. Alright, let's grab a Pokeball here. Got a paralyzed heal. Nice. You trainer? 
This here silos for stone grain. Don't go playing in it, you hear? I'm gonna go play in it. No, I'm not. Darn it. Uh, all right. Let's see, we got a grass patch. We'll go fight. You can barely see. No, you're hanging out in tall grass, and you're a tiny little kid. Okay, so I praised the art earlier. Apparently, these are not custom sprites because I, I know I've seen that one before. Oh man, all these bird Pokemon. Really, really not ideal. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't heal. Whoops. Um, see, this is his only Pokemon. Nice tackle. Tails are usually pretty good. All right, let's set up the Leech Seed. Get ourselves some health back. Uh, Tail is seated. Nice tackle. I was gonna say, why did you get to attack again? But I, I switch. Right. This is nice. A little bit of. We're getting one HP back. Well, that's garbage. All right. Well, good. Rose maybe can finish this off. I think the Pokemon got custom sprites, but the trainers. Are familiar. Yeah, I think the those look like uh, X and Y trainer uh, art. Maybe vectorized or something, but they that that little kid with the charge on his backpack, I definitely remember that. Uh, ooh, uh, it looked like a Superfly learned uh, learned a fairy move. All right, move, kid. Oh, um. Ooh, a Lilla. Uh, do we want to use a Lilla? I guess it wouldn't be the worst idea. Um. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and fairy land. It's been a long time since I've used a little up. Uh, the last uh, Gen 5 game I played um, was uh, uh, Season 5 of the Hexathlock. And oh no, Superfly! We're not playing a Nuzlocke, it's alright. Uh, uh, was a. Um, what, what, was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the last uh, Gen 5 game I played was Hexathlock Season 5. Uh, and we got a pat rat instead of a Lilla uh, in that one, so I've not used a Lilla in a very long time. Uh, so that'll work. Uh, would you like to give a nickname to Lilla? Yeah. Um, let's get rid of all of this and see if there's a male or female or not. Um, we'll go ahead and name this guy Fuzzball after my little Fuzzball. Should be the default. Um, all right. Okay, tall grass just makes this long. Like I feel like I had. To, oh, run toggled. Uh, another Lilop level two. We really need to go back and heal. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's let's knock out this little up here, uh, and then we will run back and heal. My guess is, although they, oh, Rosemary Fender too. Right. Uh, we're in trouble, huh? Alright, there we go. Uh, Alright, we gotta get out of here. Um, my guess is that they probably made custom sprites. Uh, if they had, like, the, the Lily back sprite looked similar, or, or familiar. Uh, but my guess is if they made all custom sprites, that they did so to avoid lawsuits with Pokemon. Like, hey. Pokemon can't really, I mean, they can, they can absolutely can, but they are less likely probably to take offense to a fan main game uh, gaining in popularity if, um, if, like, it's all custom stuff and they're not using actual Pokemon assets. Oh, huh. oh no! Well, we were gonna black out. Oh, well, guess it's back to the Pokemon Center quicker. Torts go to the Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted Pokemon from further harm. Alright. Yep, heals up, nurse. We restored your Pokemon to full health! Fantastic, let's do it. Alright, so we've got Superfly, we got Fuzzball, and we've got Rosemary. Ah, a bad little team we got put together here already. We'll go... In fact, actually, there was another route. Oh, it wasn't there. Um... Oh, no, Route 1 is... Okay, no, Route 2 is this way. I wonder if I can get out on Route 2, see what kind of Pokemon they got there. Uh, Talo wouldn't be the worst idea. Oh, no, they're doing... Blocking our path. Um, let's 
it's uh, all right. Yeah, let's head back. Uh, if we find another tailo, that wouldn't be the worst plan. I guess a uh, cutie fly. Well, no, cutie fly is bl bug fairy, not um, not bug flying, right? Uh, I wonder if there's different Pokemon in the this grass as opposed to the wheat. Nope, looks about the same. All right, um, I'm gonna catch this if I can. Let's go for the fairy wind. Probably get at least one more of those going. Growl. Super scared of growl. Um, oh baby! All right, fantastic. Um, anyone got a nickname suggestion for Taylo? Otherwise, I think I know what I'll call it. Birdo. All right. Why not? Fantastic. All right, we will add Birdo to the party. Um, and I bought a handful of potions, right? Let's just use a potion. I don't want to run all the way back again. Not, not that I actually ran back. Uh, you know, having died and everything. Rare candy. Where did I get pick up rare candy from? Um, let's pop that on Birdo. Four, seven, four. All right. We'll save that. Uh, we'll save that rare candy for now. Uh, all right. Let's head up here. Let's see what we got. Another cutie fly. Right, run. What you got for me? A battle? Oh my! Yeah, see, they just got. <laughs> this guy's got like preschoolers hanging out on his farm. <laughs> Slowpoke. Nice. Um. Yes! No, that happened already. Uh, I tried to think. So, actually, today, if you guys have not noticed, although I think most of you guys who are in here probably have, uh, the first episode of our our new Pokemon series, um, uh, Pokemon uh, Platinum Random Lock, uh, went out today, and we actually got a Slowpoke on our team. Uh, so, a little bit of a spoiler alert there, uh, but if you guys uh, haven't watched it, it's a not spoil too much. There's a lot more exciting reveals in that episode than... Uh, one of our one of our catches. Um, Superfly fell asleep. That is unfortunate. All right. Um, let's slip let a little in here. But yeah. So I'm I'm actually pretty excited about that. Slowbro is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I love Slowbro so much. But uh, he's just derpy and and he's actually pretty decent. Uh, actual in battle and stuff so uh, I like him a lot um, and uh, so yeah I'm pretty excited about uh, pretty excited about uh, snooty our uh, our slowpoke uh, all right I think somebody leveled a bit too slow all right there go. hopefully one of these is a healing house you must potentially use first route to grind up quicker with the legendary counter you can get there yeah that's certainly true. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having legendaries in the mix, because uh, even oh, this is a heal house. Nice. Uh, e even though um, you know we can't necessarily catch them, uh, we'll get good experience battling those level five, uh, level five legendaries or level two or whatever Lugia was on that route uh, than uh, than anything else. So yeah, grinding will be easier having access to that stuff for sure. All right, but do uh, let's get. Uh, let's get uh, Birdo in here. Does Birdo have no flying moves yet, but we'll switch anyway. Superfly will resist as well, but I want to I make sure we get a little bit of experience spread around. And one thing I do know, well, it makes sense that they're doing all their own custom sprites. Um, but since we're, it seems like we're using, obviously, Gen 7 mechanics, I thought maybe with the static sprites they'd have done the kind of animated Gen 5 type sprites. But if they're making all their own sprites, that's a heck of a lot of work to, to have to do. Especially if you've got all the Pokemon uh, Gens uh, 1 through 7 at this point. But I really, like, look, just look at the background here. Like, just look at the battle background of this. It's so nice. It's like you said, it's just the attention to detail that Game Freak doesn't necessarily put into their games. Um, uh, I'm about to send in Wormpole to change Pokemon. Can't really Birdo in. Um, let's go tackle. Not that, not that I'm impressed with Game Freak, obviously. Um, they make very nice games uh, that I have enjoyed very much. Um, but uh, there 
are uh, there are some improvements that they could make. Uh, well, obviously they're not even making in this this sprite type format anymore, which is which is uh, an improvement I think they can make is go back to that. Because this is just look how beautiful this is. I'll take this over Sun and Moon uh, any day. Oh man, with all the poison, that's not fair. Um, finish it off, Fuzzball. Then you're also ridiculously power moves for their level two sometimes. And beware the Reggies. They tend to have self-destruct like moves. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, I came up against that at some point. I've recorded like five episodes of it, and I don't. I don't even think it was in an episode, but I was grinding, uh, and one of the roots has a Regigigas on it. Um, and uh, thankfully, I had Magdala out. Um, but yeah, it, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have Magdala out. I had. I actually had Snooty out. Um, and uh, just had such good defenses that uh, it was able to tank it. But uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's frightening. Uh, Fuzzball learned Odor Sleuth. Nice. All right, so if this is Gen 7 mechanics, my guess is that they're not going to take poison damage. Well, no, they're obviously taking poison damage. But we got the heal house right here, so that'll be fine. Um, not to spoil anything. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I, came, ac I came across that. Um, and I think one of the trainers we come across... Um, has a had a Reggie Rock that also tried to explode on me. I think I did have Magdal up at that point. But yeah, the the Reggies are, are tough. Uh, and like, um, I think so. If you guys have watched today's episode, uh, Route One's encounter well not Route One's encounter, but on Route One there was Lugias. Um, and uh, Scad was like, man, it, too bad you got a got what you got as opposed to getting a Lugia. And I said, yeah, that for sure, but. Um, kind of like you're saying, they're move pools. Uh, I, I was grinding on those uh, after that episode, and uh, Lu all, all the Lugias, um, there was actually Lugias and Ho-Ohs on that route, and they both only know Whirlwind at that point, so um, we w there was no chance of us catching one of those. We couldn't have done it in, I mean, we could have just thrown a Pokeball and hope for the best, but uh, that wouldn't have, wouldn't have done much, probably, uh, and then they would have Whirlwinded us away right away anyway, so... Doesn't really make a difference. All right, we can battle this guy. And this will get us back to where we started before we passed out. Um, yeah, all these look familiar. If they're not identical, they're they're very Pokemon X and Y esque uh, sprites. There, Mill Tank. Uh, probably don't want Superfly out against a Mill Tank, I would guess. Um, let's bring Rosemary in. Oh, no, switch in. There we go. But yeah, uh, gonna be. You gotta be wary. I, I've come across lots of legendaries at this point, so they're definitely in the mix, and uh, it's been it's been interesting. <laughs> Just gotta keep my fingers crossed that we'll find one of our own at some point. Man, um, there we go. We got it seeded at least. Rosemary's gonna go down here. Oh no, she survived. Got a whole three HP. All right. Alright, well, Rosemary's gonna go down. That's fine. Uh, let's let's see. We had Superfly out. Uh, let's let Birdo get the experience. Get get him up to level five. Hopefully, he can finish off the Mill Tank. It's just using Tank. Wow, the powerful Mill Tank. Mill Tanks are just obnoxious in any game, apparently. Uh, oh, and the Leech Seed finished off. Perfect. Level six. Birdo and Peck. Fantastic. Ooh. Gain almost three levels there, and it was sharing it with Cutie Fly. Dang, it was only a level four Mill Tank. Getting a Shaman could be interesting if it ever happened. Shaman's one of those. I, I really like the design of like Hedgehog Shaman. I love. I think it's the cutest little. Actually, might be the cutest legendary. Um, but I've not come across one as of yet. Um, and uh, I guess we do have. We've got Sari, so we've got a Grass type. But uh, Shaman is adorable. I would not say no to a Shaman for sure. I wouldn't say no to any legendary, really, uh, in terms of just staying alive, since we're seeing... I, I've seen a fair bit of them, obviously. there's. It seems like there's almost at least one on every route. Um, whether or not it's the first one we encounter or not, you guys will have to watch to see. But there's there's a fair number of legendaries in the mix, to be sure. So I'm not the biggest fan of legendaries in general, but I um, might need one just to live. Hey, it's the, it's the dude! I totally forgot we were looking for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it would take some kind of genius to find me here, right under their noses. Yep, some kind of genius. I just accidentally stumbled upon you while I was battling trainers. Uh, alright, uh, did, I, did I go back to the old timer and heal? I feel like I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so we got level 6, level 7, level 5, level 6, 
Um, let's switch uh, Fuzzball up front. Oh, he's so cute! God, get away from me! I didn't do anything wrong! You got that! Oh, wait, you're just a kid. Okay, Dad, don't scream or anything. How'd you find me up here? It's a cunning hiding spot. You're daring, huh? Hey, how about you and I make a deal? Mutually beneficial, I propose. I'm skipping town. I'm a free spirit, you know? Gone with the wind. Not that I'm here very long, but just the same, I'm out. Uh, so really, why try to like me up? I'm out of your hair regardless. Morality is a moot point. You dig? What, you... You want me off the streets? I didn't hurt anybody. Maybe you should pay a fine, right? How about I pay a fine to you? Picking up what I'm putting down? One nugget free charge. Sell that for a pretty penny, huh? Give you this, and you don't have to tell anyone that you saw me. I'll leave Dusty Old Tranquil Town. Everyone's better for it. And honestly, uh, what do you owe these people, huh? Your neighbors? Just a little, one little line. You get to be a fellow probably again. Wait, is it actually going to give me the choice of doing this? That'd be, uh, that'd be interesting. I understand if you don't take, trying to get off the cut of me. Uh, I'm not giving up easy at picking up what I'm putting down. Awesome. So there's quests. There's like choice. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see what he say. Um. That's an awesome little thing. What do you guys think we should do? Should we take the nugget and just let him skip town? Maybe pay people back with the proceeds from the nugget? Or should we beat him up and take him back to the people and then get our nugget? What are you thinking? I'll let you guys kind of decide. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. All right. Everybody wants to be the good guys. Nope. After all that simpering I did, you still don't want to help me? What a waste. Fine, I'll battle you. Yeah, let's see about that. Hiya! Alright. Watch, he's gonna have like a legendary or something. Oh, he's sweating. He's nervous. Swindler would like to battle. He's got two Pokemon. Ghastly. Not a good matchup for Fuzzball, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Odor Sleuth. So it's, uh, I've never actually used this mechanic. Oh, look at that cute little substitute. Alright. Yes, he was identified. That means I can tackle now, right? Uh, Ocean was disabled. Okay, not enough to break the substitute. Did he just double down on a substitute? How's that work? Oh, hello, hello. I'll take it. There we go. What about level six? We're level 7. Man, the experience table on this is ridiculous. Uh, we're sending Scraggy. Man, I, I would love a Scraggy. Um, he'll have to tell me where we found it. Uh, Torch H Pokemon, yes. Um, bring in uh, Superfly. Because, yeah, a Fairy Wind will be four times effective against Scraggy. Um, yeah, I'd love a Scraggy. Oh, protecting itself. I'm like, why is it, why is it not losing HP? There we go. Oh man, I'm surprised that didn't one shot. Oh, hang on, Superfly! There we go. There's a Scraggy, Superfly should get a couple levels out of that. Maybe? Very close. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you kids and your stupid dog and... I can't believe it, my daring escape, full by a teenager, what a world! I've never been much of a traitor, but this is still really embarrassing. So I have no way of resisting, so I guess I'll come quietly or whatever. I bet we're gonna still get that nugget. Troy, it seems we've had the same idea to search here, but you captured the fraud. Truly, I'm very impressed. Hello, sir. Pleasure to see you again. Dwight, I'm gonna bring this man to the authorities. I still need to speak with you, ever. Can we meet at the Pokemon Center? If you're not yet aware, it is the large red building in Tranquilo. I am not a merry man. I am not a merry man. Right this way, sir. No, right this way, sir. Swindler shenanigans. New objective: meet Professor Lotus at the Pokemon Center. Let's do it. Uh, Swindler shenanigans. Objective complete. Explore Trad Farm. Hi, Mara. How's it going? Let's see what's back here. Like. Mara hosted the channel. Thank you so much for the host, Mara. All right, we can't. Uh, we can't go out here. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's head back to the old lady and heal, and then make our way. Uh, Make our way down to the Pokemon Center. I guess is at the very least they'll survive the poisoning. But that was added in Gen 4, I think. Um, there we go. Heal up. And we'll head on down. Truthfully, though, I would love Scraggy. 
I have to, I have to drill this guy. Okay, seriously, seriously. There's a room bomb. Leave. Fun. This new layout is so distracting. Like the sidebar's too busy for you? I thought it might be a little busy when I was making it, but <laughs> I just quick threw it together last night um, while uh, um, mix. Oh, the new mixer layout is distracting. Got it. Um, got it. All right, we're going to the Pokemon Center to talk to the professor. Yeah, so with the anniversary yesterday, the, you've, you've got the option to opt in to like the beta. Never do something like that again. You've got the option to opt into like the new, they did a, a website revamp. If you go into like your account um, and down at the very bottom right, le bottom left, you can switch to like um, anniversary version or whatever. Um, the, the, the actual, I, I like the home page better. The actual profile page is worse. Um, but the, the new homepage is better, so it's, I'm not just hating because it's new. The new homepage is better. The new profile page is bad. Uh, this is a Pokemon Center store. It's a safe haven with the hectic lives of trainers, as you may have realized. I left the swindler with the police moments ago, kicking and screaming. You did very well. I never would have expected you to find a thief. The excess only reaffirms my belief that you're the strongest candidate. Strongest candidate for what? I would like to offer you this Pokedex as a tool of Pokemon researchers. To receive the Pokedex. I got a large excess of trouble knowledge related to your Pokemon. After capturing a Pokemon, this information is immediately at your disposal. With that said, I have another gift for you to pair with the Pokedex. Pokeballs, all right. These Pokeballs allow for the humane capture and training of Pokemon. With even a single Pokeball in hand, all while Pokemon are potential friends. Your team can expand, grow, and even only as a result of strenuous training. I hope you take, uh, keep that thought with you as you journey to Triana. Uh, I wish you luck and I hope to see you soon, Tort. Uh, and I like that you can finally send the link to the bonds in the thumbnail. Oh, really? That's not something I've noticed. Although I don't generally bother watching bots. Uh, like on Mixer and stuff. Um, a new quest, Triana Tri Trinita Teachings. Alright. Runs away from Talon's knife. Sends a hug to man. <laughs> oh, Tori, good! Mish, come with you, catch me. Is this mom? Here, I got this for you after your father agreed to pay for everything out there. And then he helped you to get your first Pokemon, so this is my little revenge. Huh? I received the Pokestrap from Mom. Oh. Fun. I, I love that, actually. A little, like, it's kind of like the bottom screen in, I'm just playing Pokemon Platinum for the random lock right now. Um, and uh, you've got the bottom screen that you can kind of keep an eye on your team and stuff like that. It's kind of like the Poketch, but, uh... Combined, or uh, you know, yeah, combined. You got the clock and the uh, and the Pokemon there, and it's less uh, less invasive. Uh, yes, this is a fan-made Pokemon game. The demo just dropped today, um, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it a. It dropped like a half hour before I started streaming, uh, so we're just giving it a test. Um, I know Nectar down is old-fashioned. I didn't want you to look like a yokel. All right, and now you're off. First semester, you'll be living with your near your father in this exciting new place. You'll be busy with your Pokemon, your travels, it's wonderful. But I'm never going to see you, am I? Uh, not anymore, no, it's true. It's a very far trip and there's nothing here for you anymore. Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, I knew I should have dealt with this much earlier. I'm being selfish. This was supposed to be your big day, you know? I ruined it with all this. Now that I'm gonna miss you very much, Tort. I'll always be home, should you need me. All right. Toggle the Pokestrap by pressing Tab. Uh, you can change Pokestrap apps by pressing F and the apps action by pressing V. Interesting. Um, okay, we've got the... Not sure what that's doing, but all right. Um, ASD, not sure what that is. I kind of like, I like, uh, I like having this here. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that's the in-game clock. I'm like, that time is not right. Hey, Mac, how's it going, buddy? Uh, the time is not right, but uh, there we go. Uh, okay, so what was I supposed to be doing? Uh, well, we can check, actually. Uh, what was it? Um, how do I get into the... Go to the journal. Looks like it was changing the color of the background behind the Pokemon. Oh, right, yeah, that's probably right. Uh, okay, Trinidad Teachings. Twitter said they're Trinidad University, but it's a long journey with Pokemon. They must head for the Romanti Village. Head to the Trinidad Village. Okay, uh, do we have any side quests? No quest display, no Pokemon hunts. Uh, a couple of completed. All right, and the notes. Uh, I feel like I was supposed to be coming back south, but that's probably not right. Uh, okay, so 
probably, my guess is that um, Route 2 over here has been unblocked. There was some construction equipment. Oop, didn't want to go in here. Uh, there was some construction equipment. Uh, ooh. I didn't Fantastic. Hey, who said you could take that? Just kidding, I'm the PP guy. Everybody knows it. Okay. <laughs> Forget I said that. It's the PP guy. Ooh. All right. Getting a little, uh, little lag here. But again, it is a demo in beta, so there will be bugs and stuff like that. Let's grab uh, Kevia berries. Not sure what that does. In fact, speaking of uh, speaking of bugs and issues and stuff, let's uh, go ahead and heal. Uh, all right. Let's see. I don't think we've got a map or anything. We might though. We should. We should look. Um, ooh, Stunky. Think. Um, Stunky could actually be useful. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try and catch this thing. It's a decent level, for where we're at at least. Um, and uh, it's got types that we don't have covered presently. Uh, that guy was true. Uh, we all just steal from poke people. Poke yeah, I mean, most RPGs are just steal fest. Um, I have fond memories of a Stunky sweep. Did you sweep me with a Stunky at some point? Or uh, Sticky was caught! There we go. Awesome. Uh, Fuzzball grew level 8. Even better. Learn Bite. Even best. Fantastic. I actually really like this Stunky Sprite. They did a good job with it. In the Little League? Yeah, well, it's been such a long time since so we did Little League. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't, uh... You didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's Fuzzball. Uh, it protects itself by spraying noxious food. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, what do we want to name Stunky? You guys give me some nickname suggestions there. Stinky. All right. I'm not picky. Petunia. Ooh. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta clear all this stuff out anyway. Petunia is good. Uh, well, let's do that. All right. Took a couple of Azos suggestions. Petunia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Flower from Bambi. Confirm. Hey, the party. Why not? Uh, all right. I think. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you can even uh, you can even watch the HP dropping in real time on this little app. That's cool. My guess is, yeah, he survived the poison. My guess is that the lag we're experiencing while running probably is related to this app thing. We'll talk it off and see if that's if that's the case. Um, just do like little little beta testing uh, investigation. Um, I'm not sure I noticed the running lag before that. But my guess is especially if it's keeping track of HP and time and everything in real time. So I think tab gets rid of it. No, it's it's still a little laggy, so it's not it's not this necessarily. Um, but yeah, obviously it's in beta. It's still doing some optimizations and stuff. Uh, all right. Oh, we wanted to check. Okay, this is route two. Uh, I want to check. Bag ID, tutorials, exit game, Pokedex, options, save. Um, do I have a map or anything? I do. Awesome. All right. So we are trying to get. Uh, I don't think we're trying to go to Sonata Town. Trad Farm, Waver Island. Gardens, Thorn Woods, not Thorn Town. Uh, none of these places sound familiar. Um, where am I supposed to be going? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll check the team real quick. Um, no, it's a male. Oh well. Uh, brave nature plus attack minus speed. Good HP I mean. Aftermath damage the attacker landing the first hit. Uh, poison gas scratch. All right. Um. Okay. Hold on. I've got to check my. Uh... Actually, football. Uh... Okay. All right. Uh, what 
was I, what was I, oh, the journal. Journal's what I need. All right. Main quest. Um, to head to Trinity University, this long journey with Pokemon, they must head for Romanti Village. I didn't see a Romanti Village on here. It's not a town. This is like a really long. Oh wow, it is really long. Okay, so this is not like the next thing we're doing, apparently. Um, okay, so got it. That's why I was that was just confusing. Uh, all right, and in fact, let's um, let's switch level eight, level seven, level seven, level six, and level six. Let's switch Petunia up. Um, there we go. All right, continue on this way. Hollywood. Uh, we don't have a water type yet. We could catch Poliwag, but maybe we'll hold out. Had a lot of Pokemon to train. It's uh okay, Tuni was attack plus attack minus speed. Which is not doing us a ton of good at the moment, it looks like. Let's switch. Uh switch in. Should sure watch the first Avengers movie tonight. Have you watched everything before the Avengers movie? Oh, I don't want to switch in. Uh, If you haven't, if, or if you have watched everything before the Avengers movie, or at least I think you said you were gonna, yeah, yeah, you said you said you were gonna watch like I, I I gave you a list of ones that you didn't have to necessarily watch, but you're like I don't necessarily want to watch like every one of these, but yeah, you can skip Iron Man two. Um, I think that's the only one before the Avengers that you would need to skip. Um, but yeah, hey, Valus, how's it going? But yeah, go for it, Mar. Ooh, growth is really good. Um. Usually, a good idea to watch them in release date order. Yeah, she is. She is. She's watching, but she's she's just gonna not watch Iron Man two sort of thing. It's just she's like watching all of the um, all of the MCU from the very beginning, having never watched them before, um, and so she's she's a little overwhelmed. And some of them you don't really need to watch, uh, so she'll be fine. It's going well. It's going to begin on the couch with an. Apple cider. I would be doing better if I had an apple cider, that's for sure. <laughs> but that's alright. That's alright. Getting a fun little uh, play test of a new Pokemon game that just came out today. And uh, so I can't complain too much. Tort will yell at me if I don't watch it more. I will. I will. But she was threatening. So I spent all this time explaining to her how she should watch the Star Wars movies. Because she asked me. And she's like, okay, how should I do this? And then I, get, I spend all this time explaining it, and then she watches it in the wrong order, and then complains that it was, like, confusing, or... It's like, well... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I made it clear. And she was threatening, she was gonna watch the, uh... She was, she was gonna watch the, um... Most recent Avengers, Infinity War. Like, having not watched any of the other Avengers movies. And I'm like, I'm not just saying this because it would be hurt my OCD. Seriously, you will not... Don't kill Cinderella. Spinderella. Did we? We don't. We don't need a. We don't need a spin rack on our team. We've already got. Uh, we've already got Petunia covering the uh, poison. And uh, and we've got. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Superfly um, covering the uh, covering the bug. How about sending Goldine? Um, yeah, we'll switch. Let's let Superfly handle the Goldine. Get lost tools. This is such a cute cutie fly sprite. They did a really good job with this. Uh, let's slot a spore. Is that a shiny Goldeen? Is Goldeen normally that bright or that deep red? I thought Goldeen was usually more orange. Um, let's absorb. Remember, make sure respect to everything else, so it's a little confusing. Yeah, like more than like any other of the Marvel movies. They just kind of like jump into it, and if you they don't explain anything. If you haven't watched the other ones, like it just you, I don't I don't know how you could watch that movie, uh, and 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 uh, not, okay, I gotta get rid of here. Um, which is probably a deficit on their part, but in the reality, they they're making like a twenty episode like TV series more than they are movies at this point. Uh, so they they they're like, no, you have to watch the other movies. We're not gonna try and. There's too much going on for them to try to explain what was happening uh, to brand new viewers, I guess. But they still made like two billion dollars or something, so I think they probably did all right. Um, 
<laughs> no, Mac, how could you? <laughs> Sorry, Mara. It's you, you guys are the ones that keep bringing stuff up. I don't choose to go into ranching mode. You guys just bring it up. Phase one is the tutorial of the MCU. Yeah, we're really kind of getting our butts kicked here. Hopefully there's another... Uh, I protest. I am I am not a merry man. Ooh, plot. Hello, hello. Well, hello there, a fellow traveler. My name is Perrin, and my partner Rufflet. You are Tort. Well, Tort, you should sit and relax with us. Let your Pokemon take a breather. We can share adventures and stories. It's not a competition, but I'm going to win regardless. <laughs> There's a seat there. Uh, am I going to get healed by sitting here doing this? Otherwise, I'm not interested. This is going to be so much fun. I don't hear many good stories. Rufflet, when was the last good story we heard from a passerby? Oh, my God, it's sad. Uh, just like me, I don't choose to get salty at Overwatch. Other folks just make stupid decisions. <laughs> no way, it wasn't that long. Oh, dear. Well, you've got a lot of pressure on this tale of yours. Go ahead. We're all adventurers here. Well, I... I literally just left home like five minutes ago, so... Oh, well, I guess I did catch a, you know, thief mastermind guy. Sure. <clears throat> Wait, what? You used the salt emote? Did they revamp the salt emote? Wow, a bribe? What a villain. I'm really curious now. Uh, when this comes out in more full release, we'll have to, um... We'll have to go, like, renegade route. Uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, alright. Oh, how valiant! How brave! I'm swooning. I'm really curious what now, what would have happened if we, uh, um, if we had taken the bribe and let the guy go. What would you have done, Rufflet? Alright, cry the dangerous trial! Well, what a gripping story that was. I love Goosebumps. Look, but... Did you say that, uh, where it is that you're going? Not at university. Ew! What would make you want to go there? It's full of stodgy academics and loser bookworms. Your father is a professor at Trinidad University. Unbelievable! You're not a real adventurer. You're a college student. Why don't I show you how a true adventurer battles? Oh no, my Pokemon are almost dead. Uh, turns in the mixer love emoji. At least that's how it looks on my end. Yeah, no, that's what I'm seeing too. The mixer love emoji. Uh, Pokemon trainer Perrin would like to battle. Titar. Well, not not Titar, I guess, but Eltar. All right, poison gas. All right, that's good. Petunia's gonna die here. Bro. Oh, Stealth Rock. Oh man. Um. You, he's a sing song. All right. Well. Um. Do you have a Get Lost Tours counter? I don't remember you having. I don't hear. Um. Uh. Or how Torch stopped playing. Yeah, I have not played Showdown since Boots got banned. Um, actually, I need to... Addy's been real busy lately. I haven't touched base. We still need to do our battle. Um, anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, do. What case are you using the old layout or the new one? She has the Get Lost Tour counter. Old layout. Maybe it's glitched with the... Yeah, it's probably glitched with the new one. In fact, the, my actual window is kind of screwed up with it. It's like... I've got like... 75 pixels of just blank space underneath the bottom of the chat thing. I don't know. It's weird. Um, all right. Uh, what was I doing? I wanted to switch. Uh, send in Rosemary. Let's see if we can't finish off this guy real quick. All right. So it's, yeah, Mara, it's probably because we switched to the new uh, the new thing. They, I don't know if the new emotes are available with the old layout or not. I know they had revamped some and stuff. I see fields of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you and I myself. Oh, come on, Lavatar, just die already. Why are you still alive? You could really use Absorb or something on Rosemary. Yeah, I guess that's the old birthday cake. Although, I feel like this birthday cake looks better than the new birthday cake, so I'm not really sure... Uh, Sure, what, what's going on there? Petunia grew to level 7. Petunia learned Screech. Nice. Rosemary grew to level 9. I will take it. I was about to send in Rufflet. I don't have much for Rufflet, uh, being honest. Uh, let's let Birdo um, hurt it a bit. You see the new cake? 
No, it's supposed... The new one is, um... Is, like, purple frosting or something, I feel like. Hey, Kays. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I think it's, like... I think the new one is, like, a purple... Ooh! I was looking at chat. What did, uh... What did that thing just use? Um... Stealth rocks, right? Oh, right! Stealth rocks. I didn't even notice that that probably did a ton of damage. Uh, let's go for a bite. Ouch! Wow. Um. Alright, hold on. Oh! I didn't want to use a potion on. Crap. Alright, let's go for tackle. Get the stab at least. I'm gonna have to sacrifice Fuzzball here. Um, do 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 do. Okay, potion use. <sighs> Actually, I, with both my like my two stronger Pokemon are all weak to flying. Uh, okay, we're actually just gonna have to use it on Fuzzball. Um, Fury Attack, great. It's gonna hit five times or something too, right? Oh no, I only hit twice. Nice. Ooh! Oh, I survived. Uh, even better. Well, can we come out here and do something? Uh, let's hope we can at least get a poison gas up. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Super fly will probably die as soon as it comes in. Nope, but very close. Um, do, 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 fairy wind. Oh, oh, we did it! We did it! Superfly! Alright, fantastic. This will be level 9. I will take it. Oh, it's still got another Pokemon! Oh, man! <laughs> um, gosh darn it. That's Stun Spore. Nope, I don't think that works. And we got that. Is Rosemary my last Pokemon? Hold on, is Rosemary my last Pokemon? <gasps> yep! Uh... <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to heal. Dragontail. Alright, we can we can handle that apparently. Let's get a leech seed going. That'd be real useful. But uh, at least we'll get something, hopefully. Okay, looking good, looking good. There we go. <clears throat> How many port okay, that was his three Pokemon. Fantastic. Yeah, I know. I know what type Heliotile is. I didn't have. An, I didn't have an option. <laughs> um. Oh. Could I? N oh wait, no, I didn't. Uh... Did I try to paralyze it? I feel like I tried to paralyze. Can I? Can you not stun spore electric types? Um. There we go. Anyway. Oh, you're serious when it comes to battling, aren't you? Okay, I didn't I didn't realize that you couldn't even stun spore electric types anymore. Got it. Been playing the lower gens lately. Forget all the new mechanics. Rufflet, I mean, haha, no, no cause for alarm. I was a beginner's luck, obviously, I'm sure you know what that is. Buff and I have been bested many, many Rufflet and I have bested many, many stronger, more valiant opponents. But know this, Torch should our paths cross once again. The next time I see you, I'm gonna kick your butt. Got it? Good, now run along. It's a long journey before you reach the beautiful Trinita. Ooh, I really did not want to stumble into this. Um, whoops, hopefully she doesn't have flying types. Come on, nice water type. Eevee. Alright. Eevee. That's, uh, leafage, I guess. Really use, like, a Giga Drain or something. Ouch. It's growth. That raises, what, special attack? Attack and special attack. Okay, nice. I was gonna say I don't actually know what leafage is. If it's physical or special, it's like a crappier razor leaf that I've never really used. Well, I guess uh, I guess Doctor Doctor Hoot would have had it, but um, I don't know. It's been a while. All right, we will finish off this Eevee, but they do have another Pokemon, so hopefully we'll be all right. Get my experience points. Nice. Oh, and we're learning Mega Drain. Fantastic. Let's do that. Um, which we should be forgot. Uh, ooh, hmm, 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 40 versus 40, so they're the same, 
damage, but I, I'm, a, I'm a more of a physical... Yeah, let's just do that. I've got Leafage and Learn Mega Drain. It's probably the bad move, but uh, that's alright. Ooh, Fletchling! Great! Perfect, because... Oh, I'm not screwed enough as it is. Um, ouch! Ooh! That actually did good damage. Okay. Ooh, baby! Fantastic. That's what the healing moves are for. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Last pass goes down. All right. Let's uh, head back to town and uh, heal since our entire team is dead. <laughs> and we'll figure it out from there. All right. Let's see. When did I start this? How long? How long is the stream going? One thirty-five. Okay. So yeah, we got we got some time. I wasn't sure how long this would take, but I I came in. Started an hour early today because I knew I was going to be streaming this. I didn't know how long it'd take. I don't know if we're going to get all the way through it, uh, but if we don't, we'll we'll pick it up uh, again some other time with our uh, first look at this. All right. I would love, and it may even be well, they they give us I don't know. It may be possible, but I would love a just like general speed up button. Um. Ooh, the lag with the running. Again, in beta, it's just a demo. Uh. Yeah, they did. They did, and I love it. It's it's like the greatest thing that ever happened to Pokemon, and it's a shame that it's it's taken you know just fan games to really bring it back. Um, Nintendo should have brought it back themselves ages ago. Eevee! Hello, hello. Well, Eevee appeared. I wonder. Yeah, um, if you guys if you go to my Twitter, um. Or just, uh, if I, I link to them, and I think I retweeted the, the demo download link, if you guys want to pick it up yourselves. Um, and, if, and if you guys are watching it later, it'll be in the description down below. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely, it's been a fun little game. I would love the ability to speed it up a little, just, just because I've been spoiled with other ROMs, being able to speed it up a little bit. Some of this stuff is a little, a little slow, but that's okay. Uh, it's just the name of the game. Uh, Alright, let's... Fantastic. Uh, love ball. Let's try. Let's try the love ball. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah! All right. We are that much closer to a uh, Sylveon or an Espeon or a Umbreon. Although I don't know if love balls do anything for Sylveon. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how Sylveon works. If I'm being honest with you, I've never actually gotten one. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's awesome. I um. Uh, another fan game that I know does that, uh, Pokemon Omicron. Uh, Pokemon Omicron and Zeta both have the Pokemon Falling Behind You thing, too, because uh, in my Little Lock series, we had that as well, and I just love it. Uh, would you like to give a nickname to Eevee? Yeah! Uh, what, what, what should we name this Eevee here? There's a male? I don't know what stats or anything to know. <gasps> How to create bitmap. No! Game just crashed. <laughs> nope. Same thing happened again. So, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, I still think it's worth picking up. Uh, maybe with, like, a reboot or something, I'll be able to play it again. Um, but, uh, I think just in general, the world that they're building is so beautiful. Like, the, just the little attention to details and stuff, it's like the nicest possible Gen 4 or Gen 5 game that you could possibly have. Uh, it's very, They did a very good job with just the world design so far. Uh, I really like the custom sprites they've made um, and and all that. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's worth picking up. Uh, again, I'll, I'll, um, I'll put the link... Go to my Twitter. I'll pop it in Discord and stuff, too, just so you guys can see it. Um, and, uh, and I think that'll, it'll be worth picking up and playing around for yourself. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe if I, if I get, like, a restart going and I'm able to reload my save or something, um, and keep going, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll maybe give it another shot another time. Uh, but, uh, really excited, uh, for seeing where this game's gonna go. Uh, I love the questing system. That questing system was really cool, something that Pokemon never had. The fact that you have actual choices and, like, branching decision tree sort of things... That is cool. That's one of my favorite things about Mass Effect. Um, and and uh, and if they're bringing that to Pokemon in this game, this could be one of the best Pokemon games we've ever played. So once they get this stuff figured out, uh, maybe we should try again after the real thing is released. For sure, we will, we will definitely do that. Once the real f full game is released, which 
who knows how long it's going to be. This demo, they've been working on this game for nine years now. So, um, kind of like with Ethereal Gates, we played Ethereal Gates demo years ago now, and I've not heard any tell of that game coming to full release type thing. But, um, if, if the game ever comes out full of release, um, then uh, at least that's what their documentation says, Mac. It says in their documentation, it says, we've been working on this game for nine years. I mean, I'm sure like they started conceptually planning it or something and it's using gen seven mechanics. So my guess is they like started building it, building it, and they're like, oh, we should probably redo everything so that it fits with the new mechanics. My guess is there was a lot of rework involved. Um, but uh, so, I mean, I don't expect it'll take another like 10 years for them to get it done. I'm thinking, okay, they're like, okay, this is what our game's gonna be built on and they can move from there. Uh, but they put a lot of attention and detail into the world. So I don't anticipate it'll be a real quick turnaround either. Uh, but they may have more of the game developed and just not ready to like people play with yet too. They might just want to give a taste. Uh, and so I don't know how much further along, like I don't know how much more to this game there is, uh, because this is supposed to be like episode one, um, and and like the the Trinity University or whatever we were trying to get to was like four or five, t like it looked it was like half the region away. So I'm not sure if we were even ever really gonna get there. Um, or not, so I don't, I don't know, but I, I, what I've seen from this game, I'm super excited about, if I can get the demo working again at some point, uh, we'll maybe do, maybe do another stream with that, uh, at that point, uh, and definitely when it comes out on full release, I'm super excited about it, I really want to see, um, Delta Ambipom here, I want to play around with the, or not Delta, Relic, uh, they've got, like, Relic Pokemon, which are kind of, like, um, Delta Pokemon from Pokemon Insurgents and, and, and like a Lowland forms and stuff like that. So I really want to play around with that. We didn't get into any of that stuff yet. Uh, but like the questing system and the decision uh, tree system, all of that is super exciting to me. And just the fact that it looks beautiful. So I'm super on board with this game. Uh, I'm definitely going to continue uh, continue messing around with it. But uh, so yeah, uh, link in the description, link on my Twitter, link in the Discord. There will be links everywhere. You guys should try it out for yourselves and see what you think. I'd love to hear what you guys think uh, in the Discord or in the comments or whatever if you're watching it later. Um, but yeah, uh, for now, we're going to end this here because I, I've tried launching it again and I don't want to restart my computer and everything in midstream and try, try to get that going. But um, um, but thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and let me know how you guys have enjoyed this if you if you go and test it out yourselves. Uh, but as way, anyway, I've been a tormented brain. You guys have been great. Uh, make sure to uh, be be awesome. There's nothing for you guys to do, <laughs> and I'll see you guys all back here next time. Alrighty, guys, have a good one.